launched our book, Fire Run, and while we were preparing for the launch, one of my friends who is a spoken word artist, and I love giving people opportunity in events to, to showcase, to shine their lights, because that has helped me. People have given me opportunities to shine my light. So I, I love giving people opportunities to shine their light too. And he called on phone and was like, oh, no, it was not on phone. It was on a, a Facebook chat. Uh, so no, you don't want to invite me to come and present my spoken word performance in your book launch. I was like, ah, uh, is it that you don't want to pay me or that I will charge you too much? So, ah, this one, ah, this one is asking me to charge. Like I was, I am so close to you. Like the truth is that if, if I want to invite you, I won't even be calling you to pay you. I would be calling you so that you come and present and showcase yourself. And not that I won't pay you, I would show appreciation, but not for me and you to be talking about price at this point. Now, what happened is that I didn't respond to him again because there are, there are some values that I've built over time that I love service and some of the people I've connected with, I connected to them through service. So if you're my friend, you can't, you shouldn't even be talking of money. You should be asking me, apart from the performance I'm going to be doing on that day, what else should I help you do? So young people, especially guys, they want everything money. Some people, they are very selfish that if it's not about money, you're just talking rubbish. Ah, how much is the need for me? That's the question. And I remember that the day I met Mr. Collins was on, the first day I met him was on the 1st of December 2017, no, 2018. And that was at the No Limits Conference, the first edition of No Limits Conference that Mrs. Ngoziebo did. And I volunteered to anchor that event, like, I volunteered to anchor the event without pay. She didn't give me 10 kobo after, she didn't even say thank you with transport money. You understand me? But that was how I connected to Mr. Collins, and that's what brought me to this group to come and talk with you. That was how I connected with some other people who has helped us, who has helped, who has partnered with what we are doing. So many worthy guys. I could still remember 2015. I'm a Tama, who is a, a spoken word artist and, and has been to so many countries now to do her, her Igbo poetry. She was doing her Oja Cultural Festival. And we didn't have money to give her, so we just needed to help her out. We couldn't give money, so we had time. We had to give her time. We went to the venue, we carried it around, carried food, shared to students, and then carrying bottle of crates of mineral around and all that. But that was the starting point of our service to humanity. And once there was a prompting to start our own, and that prompting is what has grown to what it is now. That prompting is what has given us voice. That prompting is what has helped us. But the truth is that we learned a lot from Amaracha Atama. The first place I, I learned that there is something called Corporate Affairs Com- Commission Registration for Organizations. That was from Amarachi. The first performance that I and my twin brother did together, that was at Amarachi's event. But the performance is titled Angara and Do Soji. I don't know, some of you that hear Igbo, you understand what I'm saying. That was the first performance we, we ever did together. And that was brought by service. So if you can learn to serve people, to serve humanity, you're going to be good for it. Even if it's a business that you want to start, you start, want to start, use it to serve humanity. I'm not saying you should not make profit, but at least there's a kind of service that you give to people and they want to buy more and buy more and buy more. It's not that you must make your goods cheap or whatever. There are kind of customer relationship that you give to people and they will love you. 